experience needs to go beyond just what happens in the classroom. We've done a lot of work at the University of Salford to try to understand what influences how students experience their time at university. And um, one of the most important things we've found is that the student experience um, incorporates a whole range of things such as how um, they socialise with other students, um, where their loyalties are within the college, within their programme, um, things like their journey to work and how student life fits in with their own personal life as well. The teaching and learning aspect of um, their time at university is just one aspect of the more holistic um, approach to understanding the student experience. Well, there are several answers to the question of why it's important to evaluate the student experience. From a cynical um, perspective, there are a whole range of metrics now that we need to consider, such as student retention, um, the National Student Survey, graduate and employability scores. So if we don't get it right, those scores are just going to um, reflect, reflect badly. Um, but from an altruistic point of view, of course it's nice to make sure that the people who are um, under our care, if you like, uh, are having a good experience and enjoying themselves. It makes for a much better experience for everybody, both the staff and the students. Again, there are a whole range of ways that we can evaluate the student experience, uh, but we do need to go beyond just what happens in the classroom, um, going back to the social aspect um, being a very uh, important part of the student experience. We need to evaluate what the student is experiencing experiencing outside the classroom and whether they've got the appropriate support mechanisms from their peers um, uh, to help them through difficult times and as tutors we have an obligation to make sure that the whole student experience is working for them. Uh, at the University of Salford in, in our diagnostic radiography programme we decided to work with the NSS and use the categories there, thus combining the sort of more cynical approach to student evaluation with um, more altruistic approach because what we did was we um, talked around the NSS and asked the student what was important for them uh, within those categories, so assessment and feedback, um, organisation and management and teaching in the classroom. And instead of waiting till the end, we talked to them all the way throughout the programme to find out which of these things were important to them, what, what did it mean to have a good assessment and feedback and as a result we were continually able to make uh, regular changes to our programme to make sure that what they were experiencing um, was based on evaluation that they'd given us um, and it seems that this year that our NSS scores are um, reflecting that the student experience is what they want it to be now. What can be difficult um, with the student experience is, as I mentioned before, being able to respond in an ad hoc way um, on the spur of the moment to uh, students to show them that we were prepared to make changes um, about things that matter to them rather than wait and have those changes influence the following year's uh, cohorts. Uh, but the problem with that is that if we're working uh, within fixed systems and processes, uh, it can be really difficult to sort of make those processes work more quickly, like changing timetables, for instance. So my question would be, how do we marry uh, an altruistic approach to um, responding to students and making their experience a good experience, with also trying to run the university um, using a business model where we've got a more consumerist approach to teaching and learning. <laughs>